What's up guys, welcome back to the channel where I discuss the CPA exam, the accounting lifestyle, and everything in between. If that sounds awesome to you, hit that subscribe button below and welcome to the family. So the million dollar question around studying for the CPA exam that I feel always comes up and something that I always get asked is whether or not you need to supplement your current CPA study material with something you can find online. Whether you guys are using Becker CPA review course, Wiley CPA, Roger CPA, is supplementing your review course really necessary to pass? Now, I'm just gonna come out and say it, guys. Do I feel it is absolutely necessary to supplement your current review course with something else in order to pass the exam? No, I don't feel it's necessary, but can it help? Of course it can. In my own personal experience, I actually did supplement my Becker CPA review course with three things, Ninja Audio, Ninja Notes, and my own flashcards. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for the two Ninja products that I use, but to reiterate, I use both Ninja Audio, Ninja Notes, and my own flashcards, which I'll discuss later. The Ninja Audio was super helpful in my opinion because it allowed me to study literally anywhere and at any time. I would be, I, when I was driving to work, I would put the Ninja Audio on and listen to the lectures. While I was at the gym in between sets, I'd go ahead and play a minute or two of each uh, of the Ninja Audio. I think having some type of small audio supplemental course is great because it'll literally turn any small task you're doing into extra study time. Since nowadays we have my favorite things such as AirPods, you can literally pop these suckers in before folding clothes, driving to work, at the gym, listening to your girlfriend talk about her day, and you can turn literally any time into downtime. Play your audio and bam, you have extra study time. I also supplemented my Becker CPA review course with the Ninja Notes. The Ninja Notes were super helpful in my opinion because they were able to summarize all the key terms from that big massive book and put it in a small concise way where it was easy to understand and read. The Ninja Notes were awesome because it gave me a different perspective on the key terms that I was already learning. Sometimes I feel what happens with these review courses is that we kind of read them, we go through them so often that we end up kind of memorizing the material instead of conceptually understanding it. And when you conceptually understand something, it's gonna stick a little better. And being able to read the notes in a, in a manner, in a way that I wasn't kind of used to, like the way Becker presents it, was way better for me and super beneficial for me on the exam. The Ninja Notes just did an absolute great job summarizing all the key terms that we need to know and putting together like a small cheat sheet for the exam that I guarantee you guys was super helpful to me and I know it can be to you too. The last supplemental study material that I used when I was prepping for the CPA exam and my absolute favorite because it was absolutely free and in my own words is, you guys guessed it, flashcards. If you guys have been following the channel for a while now, you guys know that I love and preach about flashcards all the time. I firmly believe and accredit a big portion of me passing all four parts of the CPA exam on the first try to my flashcards. Making your own flashcards will not only be cheap, but it will also force you to really study, sit down, and put things in your own words. That way you understand it. Having and making your own set of flashcards will really solidify all of your understanding because not only did you write them, but you're going to be carrying them with you all the time and carrying your homemade flashcards with you at all time could turn any downtime into extra study time let's say you're stuck at the grocery store and you're stuck in line waiting to check out boom pull out your flashcards you got extra study time let's say you're at work and there you're in between meetings and you're just kind of sitting there bam pull out your flashcard that's extra study time let's say you're at the gym in between sets and then you're waiting for some guy that literally doesn't get off the machine bam extra study time pull out your flashcards you guys get the point as long as you carry your flashcards with you at all the time you can always cap on all that extra time that you can have for the exam. So I highly recommend you guys make your own flashcards and carry them everywhere with you. That way you turn any downtime into extra study time. Now to summarize this whole video, can you add some additional study materials to your main review course? Yes, of course you can, but there's a really, really, really big but. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot supplement laziness and not studying and not putting in the work. I don't care how good your supplemental study guides are. I don't care how often you listen to the Ninja Audio. I don't care how many times you go over your little flashcards. If you don't put in the work on the main review course where it really counts, you will not pass. The supplemental study material should only complement what you're doing and not complete it. You need to put the time, energy, and focus into the main review course and use the supplemental study material as an edge up on the exam. 
Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And with busy season officially coming to an end for me this week, although I love what I do, I could not be more happy to put, start putting a little bit more time, energy, and focus into this channel and start answering all your guys' questions that I literally have a backlog of, of things all around the CPA exam, the accounting lifestyle, hair, men's fashion, all around becoming an absolute awesome professional. So do me a favor, guys. Make sure to hit that like button below. And also, guys, don't forget to add me on Instagram at Brian underscore Corretto, where you can catch daily vlogs of a CPA and get your weekly dose of men's fashion. All right, guys, until next time, work hard, dress well. Peace.